Let us simplify a few expressions using Boolean algebra. Now to view all the other videos in digital electronics or digital logic, click on the i button and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Now to simplify the expressions using Boolean algebra, you have to remember the De Morgan's theorem which states that a dot b the whole bar equals a bar plus b bar, a plus b whole bar equals a bar into b bar and these two you got to remember a plus a bar b equals a plus b, a bar plus a b equals a bar plus b. So let's take a few expressions and let us simplify them. First one, so here the expression is a bar into b into c bar the whole bar plus a into b bar into c the whole bar. So first let us apply the De Morgan's theorem here. So this becomes a double bar plus b bar plus c double bar plus a bar plus b double bar plus c bar. Right? So we know that a double bar is a itself. So you have a plus b bar plus c plus a bar plus b plus c bar. So all of them are added. You're adding all of them. So you have a plus a bar plus b plus b bar. So this is b plus b bar plus c plus c bar. Now what is a plus a bar? Suppose a is 1, a bar is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. So the same thing applies for b plus b bar and c plus c bar. So this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. So you get 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 1 itself. A very simple problem. Let's move on with the next one. 2. So we have a function f which is c into b plus c into a plus b plus c. So now first let me multiply c with b plus c here. So we get c into b plus c into c into a plus b plus c. Right? So you have b into c plus what is c into c? c into c is c itself. So I have c here and now let me take c common. If, if I take c common, I get b plus 1 into a plus b plus c. 1 plus anything is 1 itself. So this is 1. 1 into c is c. So you have c into a plus b plus c. Right? So now let us try to simplify this. So you have AC plus BC plus C into C. Now what is C into C? C into C is C, right? So you have AC plus BC plus C. Now these three expressions C is common. So take C common, you get A plus B plus 1. 1 plus anything is 1, so you get C into 1 which is C. So we got to simplify this expression. So let me apply De Morgan's theorem here. So you have x into y bar, whole bar. So the sum becomes product here. x into y into z bar plus here you have x into this expression. So let me multiply xy plus x into x into y bar and then a whole bar on top. So this is nothing but, so now let me apply De Morgan's theorem here. So this is x bar plus y double bar into x bar plus y bar plus z bar plus xy plus x into x is x, y bar and then you have a whole bar on top. So now we get x bar plus y into x bar plus y bar plus z bar plus x y plus x y bar and a whole bar on top. So now let me multiply these two x bar into x bar is x bar itself plus x bar into y bar so you get x bar into y bar plus x bar into z bar. 
So I've multiplied x bar with all these three. So remember x bar into x bar is x bar itself. Plus here you get x bar into y plus y into y bar plus y into z bar plus x y plus x y bar right so you have a bar on top for the entire expression now observe y into y bar is zero so this is zero and then let us try to analyze so here you have x bar x bar into a term so you have x bar here x bar here and that is it and here in these two you have x common so for these four expressions from these four i can take x bar common so if i take x bar common you get 1 plus y bar plus z bar plus y plus y z bar and here i'm taking x common you get y plus y bar and a whole bar on top so one plus anything is one itself right so this entire term becomes equal to one y plus y bar is also one so you get x bar plus y z bar plus x the whole bar now what is x plus x bar x plus x bar is one right so x plus x bar is one these two plus y z bar whole bar on top 1 plus anything is 1 so you you get 1 bar which is 0 so this entire expression when we simplify we get 0 as the answer so now let me multiply these two expressions a into a bar is 0 actually but I'll write it and a into c is a dot c plus b into a bar so it is a bar b plus this is b into c and then you have into b plus c now what is this term the first term is zero so this is zero now we have this term multiplied with b plus c so let me multiply the first three expressions with b so you get a into b into c plus a bar b into b which is a bar into b into b so b into b is b itself plus b dot c into b so b into b is b itself so this is b dot c plus these three expressions into c so a into c into c c into c is c itself plus a bar into b into c plus b into c so c into c is c itself so b into c into c is b into c so now let us observe the common factor so from the first the third and the last two expressions b into c is common so let me take bc common so if i take bc common i get a plus 1 plus a bar plus 1 so 1 plus anything is 1 itself so this term becomes equal to 1 plus a bar b plus a c so you have bc plus a bar b plus a c now i have b c here you have a bar here and you have a so let let us multiply b c with a plus a bar so when i multiply an expression with a plus a bar the value of the expression does not change because a plus a bar is one plus a bar b plus a c so if i multiply we get a b c plus a bar b c plus a bar b plus a c so let let us take a c common from the first and last so if you if i take a c common i get one plus b and from these two i take a bar b common so if i take a bar b common you get one plus c so one plus anything is one itself so this is ac plus a bar b so this is the final answer so this expression gets simplified and the answer what we get is a into c plus a bar b so let's solve another problem so x into y plus x y bar plus x y bar z into x y plus z 
So let, let us apply De Morgan's theorem here for this expression. So we get x into y plus x bar plus z bar plus x. So multiplying here you get x into y bar into z into x into y plus x into y bar into z into z. So here observe you have y into y bar. So y into y bar is 0. So this becomes 0. z into z is z itself. So now the expression becomes x y plus x bar plus z bar plus x y bar z. Now from the first and the last expression let me take x common. So if I take x common we get y plus y bar z plus x bar plus z bar. Now this expression is of the form a plus a bar b. What is a plus a bar b? It is a plus b. So instead of a and b we have y and z. So this becomes y plus z. So we have x into y plus z plus x bar plus z bar. So now expand x y plus x z plus x bar plus z bar. So this is the expression what we have. So now let me multiply. So let us multiply x y with z plus z bar. So x y into z plus z bar. So this is 1. So z plus z bar is 1. So I can multiply x y with z plus z bar plus x z plus x bar plus z bar. Why am I doing this? Because I have z here and z bar here. So we have x y z plus x y z bar plus x z plus x bar plus z bar. Now observe the first and the third expression you have x z common. So if I take x z so you get 1 plus y and from these two expressions let's take z bar common. So if I take z bar common we get x y plus 1 plus x bar. So 1 plus anything is 1. Here also this is 1. So this is x z plus z bar plus x bar. Now let's rewrite this. The, first, the last term is x bar plus x z plus z bar. Now this is of the form a bar plus a b. a bar plus a b is a bar plus b. So instead of a and b we have x and z. So this expression is x bar plus z. So what is the expression here? So this gets simplified to x bar plus z plus z bar. So z plus z bar is 1. So you have x bar plus 1 and 1 plus anything is 1 itself. So the final answer is 1. So this entire expression gets simplified as 1. So we have taken a few expressions and we have simplified them using Boolean algebra. To view all the other videos in Digital Logic, click on the i button and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.